Hello beautiful souls. Divine discontent is a very heavy kind of looking card, and I feel this connecting with the masculine energy that may be connected to many divine feminines listening. This is someone feeling a lot of heaviness, feeling a lot of regrets. And then in the other card, we have the Angel Rasbar. This is a light, beautiful feminine kind of energy coming from this card. So, I see this representing two souls that may be very much aligned in the spiritual realm, meaning that they most likely carry a very similar core soul frequency. And in the case of twin flames, this frequency may actually be identical. But in the physical 3D world, these two embodied souls seem to be actually in very opposite states of mind at this time. The masculine in this heavy kind of dark, dense energy that he's processing through, and the feminine in this very light, independent, free-flowing, rising kind of energy. So I'm just going to read a little bit from the guidebook here as well. Tell me the truth about everything. Your person is about to reach out to you as they had a moment of clarity, which clicked like a light bulb switching on in their minds. They realized how lucky they are to be with you and what a missed opportunity it would be should you walk away from them. They are conflicted as they juggle their emotions and longing for you. They will reach out, but they want to let some time pass as they feel you might still be upset or indifferent towards them. They might be suddenly roped into other conflicts and traumas, which might make it challenging for them to reach out immediately, so be patient. This person may have been upset that you questioned their authority or actions, and to teach you some sort of lesson, they are keeping their distance from you. This person likes to be proven right and might think that they actually are, despite obvious proofs. So expect them to stay in their absolute lumpsum until they feel ready to emerge from their shadows. They haven't got the clarity that you have, which makes them feel that you are the wrong one here. I see some ego clashes here too. If you know you are right, expect them to come around after some time, but do not expect any apology. They were simply misinformed or misguided as they would put it. Trust your intuition with this person. Whoever I'm speaking to here has much deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. This secret admirer card actually says that pretty much verbatim, someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. With the time card, I'm also picking up that what might be hidden from your conscious mind at this time is that there's actually a surprising longevity to this connection. I'm hearing that it may be somewhat of a slow burn situation or a fast spark with a slow burn, meaning there may have been a really charged meeting between the two of you or initially in your connection. There may have been a really strong spark that seemed to ignite both of you. There may have been a lot of chemistry, and from that point on, it may have felt to you as though things fizzled out, or maybe you've been wondering if things are in the process of fizzling out. It almost feels like someone I'm picking up on here has tried to let go of this person or situation because they feared that possibly things were kind of dying out here between the two of them, that there wasn't really anything to hold on to here. From Divine Muscular Type yes if you believe. 